Hey Pisces, what's up? This is Star. We're doing a an eclipse reading for you guys. Let's get started. We're doing um, a bunch of decks, so give me a moment to get all the cards out. I see Sun Moon rising. Okay, masculine might be confessing their feelings toward you, how much they miss you, how much they want a new beginning with you, a fresh start. You might have been detached from this masculine, not talking to them because you drew the line. No more chances. And because of that, they have a lot of regrets. There may be a need to rebuild your self-esteem and to have the courage to face certain things about yourself, perhaps, because you may be in denial about some things, maybe something that you don't want to face. Only you know what that is. Some of you could have developed some trust issues, and that's definitely something that you want to um, work on because I'm seeing somebody new maybe coming into your life. Right, so we have change, family room, and coffin. So there is a big ending happening, and it's very close to you, very close to home, actually. Okay, some of you might be moving. Uh, you may find that you need to sell your home for some reason unexpectedly. Um, some of you, you know, may have an unexpected death in the family, or hear of it. You may get news of that. And if so, my condolences. But um, it doesn't have to be that literal. It could just be an unexpected uh, major change, major uh, ending. Like I said, it could be like you having to sell your home. I feel like a lot of... There's some of you out there who are having like... Um, body issues, body image issues. All 
All right. Mm. Okay, so this is the death card in this deck. And I, I happen to put it down here. Okay, disruption is the tower. Both of these are Scorpio energy, which does... Scorpio rules the eighth house, which is the eighth house of death and rebirth. And both of these are Scorpio energy um, right next to the coffin. So again, I'm... Have choose wisely, patience, trapped in fear. I'm getting right now is not a good time to make any kind of decisions. There's a need to be patient because there's going to be a lot of chaos happening. Okay, so you're going to need to act upon the chaos that is happening. So for you to um, be plotting on any additional things is going to be too much. Uh, so I feel like you just have to deal with the things that are naturally happening around you rather than planning anything new. I would, I would suggest not doing that this month and just dealing with what is. What is this transformation? The hermit. This might have to do with the Virgo, but it does not have to. Not necessarily. Okay, whatever is ending right now, you have to think about there's a situation that's ending and they're asking for you to do some self-reflection because this is something that has been kind of in the works. This is something that you have manifested from the past. Um, so if you're thinking about like, oh, why did this happen? You have to reflect upon that because you did have you did play a part in it. Okay, this is something that was manifested. What is the disruption? What's this tower? The Empress. This could have to do with a Taurus or a Libra or a mother figure. The Sun. This could bring about a revelation. Oof. Okay. about people judging your decisions, judging your relationships, judging your decisions. Yeah. So you could be finding out something about a Taurus, like I said, a Taurus or a Libra. Um, this Libra or Taurus was not very honest. This could have to do, there could be like hidden money. They could have been hiding money or hiding finances, hiding, uh, oh my gosh, even like um, 
somebody might have had like a whole new family, may have had like a new, like a, somebody might have had a, a child outside of wedlock or out, if you had a family with someone, oh my gosh, okay, hold on now. Wow, okay. Hmm. Wow. There could be a Pisces out there. Wow. Oh my. Okay. There, there's a Pisces out there who was married and their spouse had a child with, is having a child with someone else. And this is a secret that is coming out. Sorry for whoever that's for, but that I see that clearly. So it's for someone, hopefully not you, but yeah, it's you, whoever I'm talking to, This is not the hugest surprise. I mean, it might be a surprise about the child and all that, but the fact that it's happening, it's not the hugest surprise. Like, you've been in denial about this. You have known that your person is up to no good, and you have been in denial. So that's why this, that's why I'm saying, like, this is very close to home. This is a change that has been coming. Like, you have kind of known about, that's why they're saying, like, to think about this, because this, this is something that has been in the works, like, you knew about this, but you manifested in the sense that you kind of knew this was happening, and you looked the other way, because you may have been trapped in fear, oh my gosh, okay, Oof. I, man, I hope that that does not apply to many people. Lord. Okay, so let me see confessions. What is confessions? We have a Knight of Wands, which is player energy. Four of Pentacles. I feel like somebody had a one night stand, or they started off, you know, being a player got into a situation with someone that was meant to be casual and ended up creating a home because a child was born. Um, this person then became a father. The King of Cups is a father. And now a change has to happen. This person has to move on because they have created a child and there is no getting around it. Like this person doesn't know what else to do. They're stuck in their head. They don't know what else to do but move on because they're, they are a father now with this other family, this other person that they were supposed to just have a one night stand with. What's the coffin?
Okay, so yeah, this news is going to lead to the final ending of this situation. But the good news is that I feel like you're going to... This King of Swords... I feel like this King of Swords is somebody like in the legal system. So it could be a lawyer. You could be visiting a lawyer. And this information that you're getting about this whole situation, you're taking that information and to this King of Swords, which is like a lawyer, and you're going to use it. Somebody else got... Damn, I wish I knew you're my last um, sign that I'm doing this reading for, so I, I couldn't even tell you. But somebody got something similar that they were using. Um, oh, maybe it was Capricorn. I don't know. Anyhow, somebody was using information as ammunition. And that's what I'm seeing, that you're using all of this as ammunition. You're giving this information to the lawyer to use as ammunition um, for the divorce, basically, or, you know, some kind of legal proceeding or just, you know, for your benefit, here you are, the high priestess, and it's going to work in your favor in the future for this change. Choose wisely. With, yeah, choose wisely. Think logically not not with your emotions because that's that's what's going to lead you astray look at this look at this yeah okay so yeah, you did have this relationship, this family, this ten of pe ten of cups at some point, but now you see each other as you really are. So look at this person, look at your relationship, who you really are, not who you wanted your relationship to be, not this ten of cups fantasy that you wanted it to be. You have to see it for what it is. Otherwise, you're, you're going to screw yourself over. Okay? Remember this denial. This denial is what probably got you this far anyway. But seeing it for what it is, it's what is what is going to relieve you of these burdens. So that's why choose wisely. Why does Pisces need to have patience? What is the patience about? Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Wands, Queen of Wands, Justice. I feel like you're going to have, um, you know, feelings of anger, resentment. Like you're going to want revenge <laughs> um, or something of the sort. Like you're, you're going to want to get your licks back. It, that's not exactly part of your healing process or it's not a healthy part of your healing process. So you, you're being asked to just heal. Allow yourself to heal and have patience and, you know, don't feed into that because it's only going to elongate the process. Trapped in fear. Um, let me see. What do I actually, I wanted to see unlikely. What is unlikely? What is unlikely? So we have two sixes here. Sixes are about harmony and balance. Um, 
I feel like that's over. <laughs> you know, you guys going back to being... <sighs> Things being the way they used to be is not going to be. It's just not going to be. I feel like this animosity is going to be difficult to get over. Okay, look at this. The, the death card is looking straight at the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is the past. The past is over. It, it's unlikely that it's ever going to be the way that it was, that you're ever going to see that person the way that you used to. You're not going to see them in that way because the truth is out. Once the truth is out, you can't, you can't turn back. You can't unsee what you've already seen. That child cannot be, you know, unborn. A child is is exists now, and now you know that that is what it is, and so it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, you know, there are no winners here. The five of swords. The decisions have been made. You know, your person made the decision that they made, and 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 it was it is what it is. So unlikely that it will ever be what it used to be. So what does Pisces need to trust? Trust in your own decisions. Trust that you will continue to be stable. Yeah, if you allow for movement um, in the direction of, you know, um, allowing things to end, to, to reach its natural conclusion, um, allowing toxicity out of your life, things that you know are not good for you, no longer serve you, then you are going to be doing good things for yourself. If you just allow for things to stay the way that they are or to try to force things, then you're not trusting yourself and things are not going to turn out with these big happy changes. You're just going to go and on the same cycles over and over again and be unhappy the way that you have been. All right, let's see what the guidance or advice is. Pisces, guidance or advice. your usual social circles behind. Seek out true companions. You are caught up in drama. Act to free yourself. Change and blossom again. Listen to the eternal song of your soul. Tune into it and learn to trust it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you're stuck in this mess of that you just don't belong in. And really the message is here for you to trust your, your your own guidance, your own intuition, and what you know to be right. Because that will never steer you wrong. Your gut will never steer you wrong. Um, everything is pointing toward, get the hell out of here. Like, Molly, you in danger. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. All right, Pisces. See you soon.